and I'm a pretty tough cookie when I need to be. And, uh, and yeah, it was very tough. But your support is what got me through. The support of people when I go home and the messages and the love of this country. Maybe this is something that brings us back together as human beings now beginning to ask these deep questions, which are what kind of society do we want? How will we run this country together? It's up to us to run it. We are not their slaves. No. They are paid by our taxes. And we must now start to replace the society we want. And so we know the government is right. We know mainstream media is right. Guess what the Herald's headline was at lunch? Liz Gunn, Nazi, blah, blah, blah. So oh. I, I stand by that term as a term of art my father used. It means someone who abuses their power when in uniform. I stand by that. We must use that term. We must call these people out. What happened in the Freedom Village was the Nazis having a go at us. People in uniform who thought they could hit and maim and hurt and bully and kick and throw and they were not called to account and now they think they can do this at airports. And why should that woman, the security woman, be able to trespass me capriciously, as Matthew said? Yeah. She should answer for her actions. Every one of us should. That is a civilized society. Otherwise, we have a group of fills running around in uniforms thinking they can bully the lot of us. Yeah. And I am not going to live in that society, and none of you wants that either, do you? No. So I don't care if you're in a uniform. You justify your reasons for coming up to me and bullying me. If you are respectful, I'll be respectful. I was not obnoxious. I was not racist. I'd come to see people from Tokelau who I'd fought for for months. I'm not a racist. And this xenophobic racist thing, the xenophobia issue, I want to deal with that because they'll play it up in the news as well.